I'm Jessica from Summer Cannibals. I play guitar and I sing in the band. Uh, this is some of my gear. I just got this Fender Mustang. Yeah. Um, she's very beautiful. Uh, Fender sent it right before we left for this tour. So this is like the first time that I'm playing it. I love it a lot. I've always had uh, the 65 reissues, which this is right here. It's my spare. Um, okay. I love it, but the pickups are awesome in this. The placement of the pickup switch is way more convenient. It's not up here so when you're like strumming. So it's got stock pickups, which sound awesome. It's like got the like classic Mustang sound. It's like high endy and nice and like cuts through stuff. Um, there's like the tone knob here, which I use a lot, and then the volume knob. That's it. I'll roll off the volume, but usually tone. Like there's like one song that I'll roll it off just a little bit, but most of the time they're gone. Ernie Ball strings, tens, um, always. Every few shows ideally, I'll change the strings. Uh, sometimes I am bad and I will wait like eight shows. <laughs> but for the most part, it's usually safe if I do it every few shows. I'm like a Mustang person, I have five of them. Um, this was my first though. Uh, it's only a little bit different uh, from like the way that it came. It's got the stock pickups. I added the mastery bridge, um, which I love. It's awesome. The bridges that come on these, it's the 65 reissue, aren't my favorite. Uh, but ever since I added that, it's been awesome. I had our bass player Ethan take out the pickup switches here because I never take it off the bridge pickup. Um, and I will hit them anytime I'm playing. <laughs> I had tape across here for a really long time. Um, yeah, I am missing a <laughs> thing. It's fine. Just not worried about it. I wish I knew the company that made these. Um, I put strap locks on. They're like the Fender strap locks that you can get from wherever. I always use the star picks. Cassie calls them butthole picks. Um, I love, my dad like one Christmas was like, I got you picks and they have a grip on that. Like uh, he's like all excited about them and I was like, okay. They're like my favorite thing. I never dropped them. Um, and you know, I'm not sure it's the 0.73, yeah. I like like a little bit heavier of a pick. Um, Twin Reverb, I'm not sure of the year, it's newer. Um, I got it like six years ago. I, it doesn't have the stock speakers. It has swamp things. Uh, I don't know a lot of the specs on them. What happened was I played too loud and with too much fuzz and I blew the stock speaker and a friend of mine suggested the swamp thing <laughs> speakers that are uh, actually really dope. They made the amp about like 20 pounds heavier, uh, heavier, <laughs> but uh, they sound awesome. I, when we play live, I use a looping pedal for like ambient sounds and stuff like that. Um, and so I'll go in to the normal uh, input over here with my looping pedal and then I'll plug my guitar in here. I use the reverb, but I keep it on like two at all times. Um, I like to carve out the mids just a little bit and I like a bass heavy tone. Um, so I usually have my bass set pretty high and uh, never turn on the bright switch, ever. <laughs> Doesn't need it. Boss tuner, classic. Um, I've switched to other tuners like wanting to be fancy and I always end up going back to that. Um, First thing I have in my chain is a Palisades. It's overdrive. Um, it's got two gain stages and then a boost. Uh, I almost always have both of the gain stages on. It's a really, really awesome, like overdriven sound that's kind of transparent and not too muddy. Uh, and it's perfect going into this fuzz. I only got it a couple tours ago. Um, and I honestly don't know much about it. I don't know much about the company. I had like my standby homebrew electronics fuzz that I loved for years and it kind of crapped out on me right before tour. And I picked this up and it ended up being like one of the best fuzzes that I've ever heard. Um, 
I love this pedal going into it specifically. I always have my compressor on. It's Strymon OB-1. Um, this is about where I keep it at all times. This is like the compression, this is the output level, and this is the boost level. These are dope because the boost level, you can do a flat boost, you can do a mid boost, and then you can do a treble boost. For this band, I almost always just have it on the flat boost. Um, and I'll turn the boost on like when I solo, uh, or if there's like a particularly heavy part of a song, just like for, it's like no color really at all, just a flat boost. Um, I have another Earthquaker Devices pedal. It's reverb and delay. It's really beautiful and really cool. Um, and it's like one of my favorite reverb sounds that I've ever heard. I, uh, I like to like glitch it out and mess with the time um, for weird warbly sounds and stuff like that. But a lot of times I'll just keep the reverb on. Um, for like moodier, you know, burby songs. Uh, first tour that I've used a chorus pedal. I use it for just like two songs and uh, you know, don't really think too much about it. Just like added dimension, a little bit of depth uh, on one of our slower songs. I have another Strymon pedal. <laughs> it's the El Capitan, it's delay. Uh, I, it's or it's a tape echo. I use it mostly for weird sounds. I like love to turn the repeats all the way up and mess around with the time and make it like warble and you know sound all crazy in between songs. Uh, there's also a tap tempo on it, which is awesome. It's something that I like usually. It's like necessary for me to have on my board. Uh, then I have another delay. <laughs> I like to keep it on for slapback on certain songs, but as you can see, the settings are not uh, in a place where you would have them for slapback because I do like with these two, like to mess around with it when we're playing. Uh, and then last I have the loop station. Usually before a tour, I'll load in like, 15 different patches of like synths or like weird ambient sounds. I'll just like play guitar, mess around in certain keys of different songs. And uh, we use that like as tra as like transitional element during our set. Um, then we have the power supply. I, this is blocking the thing. <laughs> uh, I think Cassie has the same one too. So yeah, that's everything. Cassie and I both switched to these, the Sennheiser uh, 945. Uh, sorry, there's tape over it. Um, Cassie knows a lot more about them than I do, but basically they have a super tight pattern. They sound really good, and it's also just super necessary for us to bring our own mics on tour uh, so we don't get sick all the time. Um, but these are awesome, and we even, we have a studio at home, and we use them a lot in there too. Uh, Cassie, I think, has the 935, so. Thanks for checking out my gear. Uh, the band's called Summer Cannibals. We just put out a new record. It's called Can't Tell Me No. We're also on tour a bunch over the next few months. Uh, you can check out all the dates at summercannibals.com. Oh.